Nee, kun jo prie vēstotam e tosījiem. Ēnuam, kur tās nāks, cekāp īzo akros. And follow me, it's not worthy of me. On your banana bataram, Nabataram. On your banana bataram, Nabatarunia is terrible. On your Nabatarunia, Nino Punyama, and not all for the Runyama. Anyone who receives you, receives you. And anyone who receives the prophet, no one who receives me. Receive the one who sent me. Anyone who receives a prophet, because he's a prophet, will receive the reward of the prophet. The one who welcomes him, receives him, does good to him, for he told the Jesu. Two things about today's gospel. It's a conclusion of, John, of Matthew chapter 10. Jesus chooses out of his disciples 12 apostles, instructs them, and sends them away. He makes them aware of what they were going to face hardship, opposition, rejection. And he wants them even shortly before this that there will be division in their family and among friends because of their message. Last Sunday, he encouraged us to do to be at peace. These things will happen and they may harm you physically. Don't be afraid. Because otherwise, if we are afraid of what may happen you physically, you may fall into what will destroy you perpetually, destroy your body, destroy your soul. Now at the end, he encourages them, some will receive you. And in receiving you, they are receiving me, they are receiving who sent me. They will welcome you. And in welcoming you, they receive their reward. But still the riches. The last part of this gospel is often preferred by preachers when they are raising funds. Luckily or unluckily, COVID-19 won't permit anybody to raise funds in the Catholic Church in, in the soccer diocese today. As now, I think they go back on the home page this passage in the Lord's of Nebu. Anyone who welcomes a prophet will receive the reward of a prophet. Now, that possible? The question, the next question is, what is the reward of the prophet? Elisha, in the first reading, was received by a woman who saw him as a holy man. This woman spoke to the husband. Often the initiative to do good for the church, often the initiative comes from the woman. But this woman spoke to the husband. Some families are in crisis. And when he discovers it, it becomes a problem. This woman is my idea. The inspiration may come from you. My dear CW woman, that please talk with you about with your husband. Like a man, 
not depends when he died, he died. And the woman is dead. So, what was the reward of the woman eventually? The prophet's reward is eternal life. The prophet's reward is enjoying the presence of God. And that is the reward that awaits anybody who receives, welcomes, helps the prophet, the apostle, the disciple, the righteous man, just because he is an apostle, a prophet, a righteous man, a disciple of Christ, a messenger of No other strings are attached. Because I don't know why. Very often the reward of the prophet is rejection, persecution, and even death. And also those who support the prophet in the community, their reward on this earth, on earth in this world, is often rejection, persecution, and death. I'll give you a few examples. You come to a parish, and the priest discovers that there is a problem that is keeping his Christians from being true Christians. Like the old and Lusu caste system. In some parts of this diocese, some Catholics will not want to belong to the same parish with those whom they regard as old. Especially in the parish headquarters, Nobenda Sunnehebu, Neki, Endom.
He chose Christ. And they were rejected by family. Some have been abandoned by their families because they chose to marry. Oh, that's not good. The person who is said to be a slave. And they say, this is the person I love. This is the person I will make with. And they reject the person. You have remained faithful to Christ even against your father or your mother. If your father or your mother commands you to do anything against Christ and his church, Christ says you should disobey that command. God commanded us to love our parents. But our parents cannot command us to disobey God. God commanded us to obey them. They cannot command us to disobey them. And the reward that is awaiting us is not about this world. It is the reward of eternal life. And when Jesus says, if you give the disciple even the little one, as much as a cup of cold water in the hot area of Palestine where Jesus was preaching, water is usually not very hot to cold, except you are drawing directly from the wine. Or you are preserved especially to make it cool. Otherwise, it will be warm. And it is not cold water, it is not common. So, for you to do that, you have to make an effort to offer what you consider precious. It's similar to when people give some thousands of naira that they say it will be a widow's mind. Forgetting that the widow's mind was everything the widow had. The cup of cold water here is what in itself may seem simple, but in reality is very big, important, and very useful. And as the text of the prophet, of the servant, of the disciple is being quenched, so Christ will also quench your thirst in life and then make you satisfied. Then, over and above that, how many of you in a mummy? Don't stop at it, you in a mummy in a pipe of a mummy. Over in a little pile, you give me the pile of the nail. Do whatever you can to support the preachers of the gospel. Not for anything you will gain from it on earth, but simply because the person is. The minister of the gospel. And I will also tell you, don't allow yourself to be manipulated and used by the preachers of the gospel. Give it to us that are quite good. There are some whom we are contributing their hard earned money to. They will not be too bad in it. But the person is using it either to settle his family or his friends or to live a luxurious life. But I have always said it, that when poor people give money and support to the preacher, it is not the preacher they are giving to, it is to God they are giving to. It is to God they are giving. And if the preacher uses that money or those resources for anything that is not godly, he will pay the end for it. I am appealing to all preachers of the gospel to stop manipulating poor people under the pretext that they will be rewarded because they have supported the gospel. Yes, they will be rewarded, but you will be punished. Some people have come from poverty to poverty to poverty to poverty, from misery to misery. Now, I support the man of God. The man of God will know who he enjoyed it. That is not what Christ wants. What Christ wants, that each one of us does what he or she can for the sake of the gospel. If you are preaching the gospel, preach without fear and without worrying about what you will eat and the persecution that will come. You will never lack support from people God will send across your way. 
And if God has sent an apostle or a preacher across your way, don't be afraid to support him. Because if they get me, you will get the reward. Even though that will be very painful, yes, but without the cross, you will not be a Christian. Peace be with you.